Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a message for the Horse Collective. I was flipping through my deck and I was thinking, um, I just finished doing Libra. And I was flipping through my deck and the horse came back out. So I'm going to do, um, it's going to be an empowerment uh, angel number read reading on the horse collective um, okay. so the horse represents refinement and eagerness the horse uh, birth years are 1954 66 78 1990 2002 2014 okay so I'm going to do some encouragement, empowerment messages, and some angel number messages. And I think I'm going to pull some some love oracle cards, messages from the deck, just to see what's going on there with you guys. So it seems to be like a snow thing going on. There's a lot of snow. It might be a snowstorm. But it's like snow mixed with rain and wind this this might blow off because I have a little uh, crack in my window I like to keep you know just for you know fresh air purposes however fresh the air really is you know I'm not gonna say too much about that but I'm gonna write some sage here and Holy Spirit for my horse collective you hear that? You've got to hear that because it was definitely windy. Okay. Right to my nails. Just to throw it out there because I just did that today and I was like, oh, great. Great. I'm not going to do them right now. You know, I'm going to, I'll redo them probably later on today. But, all right, my horse collective here. Let's get some encouragement and empowerment messages for my horse collective, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Help me to give the messages that the Chinese Zodiac Horse Collective need to know right now, Holy Spirit. Um, spirit guides and angels, thank you for helping me to give the messages that the horse collected me to know. I'm going to just shuffle that two times. That was a poor shuffle. <laughs> Let's see. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is the 16th of January. I'm going to start announcing the date of my reading because I was not doing that before. Okay. Alright. Let me just move this over here. Let me move it over here. windy out. It's quite windy. Alright, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Give me some messages that the horse collected me to know. What messages does the horse collected me to know? Alright, that blew out. Okay, so you can't hold a man down without staying down with him. This is a quote by Booker T. Washington here. So if you are overextending uh, some help or you're overextending yourself um, to someone, just be aware that you are, if you're holding someone down, you're going to stay down with them. So just be mindful of that. Okay. So hard work pays off here. 
Yes. Uh, this was my high school motto as well. Um, this motto just means keep tunnel vision with the goals you have created. Make a plan and plan to follow through. The win. It's like, state my card is about to fall. Okay. All right, you don't have to work harder, but work smarter with focus and intent. The next card that flew out was persevere. So just don't give up. Um, be persistent, refuse to stop with whatever it is that you're working on. Um, Horse Collective. Okay. Let's get some more messages for the Horse Collective Holy Spirit. What do they need to know right now? What is the Horse Collective? Okay. Well, I can heal my body. So if you're feeling a little under the weather, maybe Horse um, Collective positive mantras will help um, to heal your body and another thing is our body um, restores itself every so many years and really on a daily basis so if you can just you know be positive and optimistic about whatever um, ailment that you might be going through that would be great okay Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me some messages the horse collected me to know at this at this time. Give me some messages for the horse collected and what they need to know. I um I put my crystal I usually do crystal chakra messages at the end of this but I bagged them somewhere that we want to come out I bagged them up somewhere and it would have just been too much for me to dig through them but I did I do have my original chakra messages here I think I'm gonna pull these for you guys as well with the angel not the angel, but the love oracle. Okay. So it says the difference between a flower and a weed is a judgment. This is a quote by unknown. And I translate this as the difference between a flower and a weed is a judgment. Hmm. I guess a judgment would be when it comes to a flower and a weed. I've always thought about, um, you know, um, you know, like what, what, you know, like what this is saying, and I believe because a judgment is when you, um, a judgment is when you come to. You know make a decision rather something is good or bad um you know it's like you make um it's, it's just like you start to make a choice or a decision rather something is good or bad and because a weed is not good for the flowers you might have made a judgment that you have a, a weed in your mist if that makes any sense you may have something that's not good for you something that is um, holding you back um, from your growth so to speak okay Holy Spirit Holy Angels rather um, if that's a person or 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 like you know like a job or anything but I feel like um, you're starting to find out what's good for you and what isn't all right, Holy Spirit, give me some more messages for the horse collected and what they need to know. For one more, and then I'm going to get started on the angel messages. 
All right. That popped out. You will be a lion in your own cause. So whatever it is that, whatever cause that you feel like um, you're passionate about or something to that effect, you're going to be a lion. Uh, you know, like, in other words, you're going to be like a leader in whatever the cause is. Rather, it is having to do with uh, you know, anything that you're passionate about and anything that you've experienced and you might see that some other people are experiencing similar things and um, and you would like to, you know, like represent them um, or, or just represent those type of difficulties or challenges. Let's get one more for the horse collective. What else is the horse? Let the need to know Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What does the horse collect the need to know? Man, that is too many. This one flip, I'm taking it. I'm taking the flipper. So it says, a thorn of experience is worth a whole wilderness of warning. Quote by James Russell here. So the message for this card is it is so important to learn from the hurtful experiences so that they are so they are not repeated in the future. Learn about the part others have played in the hurtful experience along with the part you played. So yes, Horse Collective, be mindful of that. If you feel like um you know, because we can't just blame one person completely for, you know, for a certain situation. We also have to take accountability for the part that we played in it. So, okay. All right, Horse Collective, I'm going to go ahead and move. You know what? Let's just see what comes out here. I have... These are a few um, cards that I made before I um, before I purchased the before I had purchased the crystal and the chakra cards. I just made some of my own. Holy Spirit, okay, there's some prop now. So selenite under your pillow may be good. Selenite is a calming stone that instills deep peace and is excellent for meditation or spiritual work. It can assist with judgment and insight. It clears confusion and aids in seeing the deeper picture. Selenite aligns the spinal and promotes flexibility. Got to love it. I sleep with selenite under my pillow as well. And this one also came out, Ground Yourself. Ground yourself, a uh, horse collective. Um, a good stone to ground yourself is hematite. Here is this. Is this deep? Um, this deep gray. Um, that is a great grounding stone. So is um, my good. So is the red jasper. That's also a good grounding stone. All right, is there anything else? This is a thin deck. Anything else for the horse collective? Then I'm gonna do the angel numbers. Okay, anything else? I think that's it. Okay. All right, and I think some of you guys need to work on your heart chakra as well. Okay, so let's get to the angel number messages. Let's see what spirit wants the horse collective to know to see what your guardian angels would like for you to know horse collective let's see these are also um i have help and and angel number messages on here all right this thing these um this this copper they the copper just sticks you know Okay. All right. Let's clear this here. 
Yeah, if you are extending yourself worse, you need to definitely think twice about that. Because it seems like you guys may have a lot on your shoulders right now. It seems like you guys are carrying a lot. You know, it's one thing to have your own things, your own dilemmas to carry, but if you've been put in a position where you're carrying someone else's dilemma, I would definitely drop that burden. I would drop it because, first of all, it's not yours. And second of all, it's going to hold you in a place where you don't need to be held, to be honest. Um, all right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, do you have any messages for the Chinese Zodiac Horse Collective and what they need to know right now? Um, what does their spirit guides and angels need to tell them? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, do you have some messages for the Horse Collective? some messages for the horse collective and what they need to know. What do their guardian angels, spirit guides, what messages do they have for the horse collective? Give me some messages for the spirit. Okay. I see 911. But this one flipped. Angel number 292 you might you guys might have been seeing um this number 292 angel number 292 means be strong and confident your life matters a lot angel number 292 is a sign for you to begin looking for more insight to solve your problem insight may include research internet ask people questions friends family Angel number 292 is encouraging you not to be so worried. Worrying will not help solve your, your problem. Your guardian angels want you to communicate something, want to communicate something important to you that will help you succeed. So pay attention to like uh, numbers, like numbers that you are seeing, especially um, if you're seeing them frequently, definitely take note, write them down. But your guardian angels definitely need to communicate something important to you. This will come in the form of ancestors as well. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do the horse collective need to know right now? What messages does the horse collective need to know right now? Okay. Angel number 1643. Angel number 1643 means showing diligence in message of love and care. Angel number 1643 is delivering the message of love and care for you. So be happy and celebrate every moment of your life. Do not let anything disturb your peace. Just focus ahead. I like this message here. This message is saying, like, it's really expressing, you know, love from the divine and your and your ancestors, and you know, and they care for you. I really feel like your an this ancestor, I feel, who is um, who who is really who is like, um who is with you guys. I'm not sure if you are communicating with them or not, but you may feel a presence around you, you know. You might feel a warm presence around you randomly, and um, that that would be them, for sure. All right, Holy Spirit, give me some messages for the Horse Collective and what they need to know. Give me messages for the Horse Collective and what they need to know right now, Holy Spirit. Any messages for the horse collective? Any some messages that they need to know right now? Okay, 
two of them. Okay. First one, angel number 943. Angel number 943 means financial prudence, find middle ground, negotiating and compromising. You have an amazing life partner. This is for any couples. You have an amazing life partner. For any couples out there who, you know, who's resonating with this. Angel, angel number 943, spiritual meaning says, in the fast changing society, in the buzz of life, it's easy to lose focus, especially in financial and planning matters. You need to find better ways to ensure every expense is accounted for. Try to cut out, I mean, try to cut back unnecessary costs and increase your savings. So this is a good time for you to increase your savings. Horse Collector. And the next card that came out, which is really interesting and a little ironic, it says sun. So it says, you know, are you getting enough sunlight? Uh, some of the benefits include killing bacteria, reduce blood pressure, reduce cancer risk, strengthens bones, and uh, it improves sleep quality. So whenever the sun is out, and I know it's like, you know, snowing, and it's like it's like a bit of a storm. Man, that's a lot of snow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Give me some more messages for... And look, I think it blew. I think it fell. When did this fall? It's the wind, I'm telling you. The wind is strong. It's very high right now. Hmm. Okay, it flew out like that. So, angel number 734. Alright. Angel number 734 means maintain punctuality and chase your dreams. Angel number 734 appears to ask you to be active in life. Do not sleep on your dreams and talents. You can do a lot and become a wealthy person if you learn to be up early to plan your life angels and angels discourage you from being lazy and ignorant utilize time appropriately so yes i don't have to repeat that message <laughs> you know you know like don't be lazy um you know, your angels are like, listen, you're going to have to be up for it to, you know, to, you know, to be up to it. You have to be up for it. Oh my gosh, I need to write that one down as well. Give me one second, you guys. <laughs> I'm still building my decks. To be up to it. To be up to it. You guys. Yeah. Alright. Any more messages for the Horse Collective Holy Spirit? What does the Horse Collective need to know right now? What messages do you have for the Horse Collective Holy Spirit? Give me some messages. These two. Alright, the first one I come out is almond oil in belly button navel area. Uh, okay, so almond oil gives a natural glow to the skin. Almond oil has vitamin E, vitamin A, protein, zinc, and potassium. So applying um, oils around the navel and belly button area is a way to... Um, there's a way to benefit your skin as a whole because there's so many uh, 
nerve endings connected to um, connected to your organs and all of that. And then avocado oil also came out. So avocado oil is a very beneficial oil to utilize throughout consumption and application to the skin. I love avocado oil. I use it everywhere. I eat it. I put it on. Uh, it's a very, it's rich and very healthy fat. Uh, reduce cholesterol, improves heart health, benefits eye health, enhances the absorption of important nutrients, may reduce symptoms of arthritis, improves skin enhances, improves skin and enhances wound healing, rich in antioxidants, and is very easy to use. You can just get this from the grocery store. And the next angel number that came out is angel number 666. Sun signs angel number. It's very windy. My gosh, it keeps blowing my horse down. Let me just let's put it like that. Then it just looks like horse. Okay. So, all right, angel number 666 symbolizes the hidden truth and unlock the mystery. Angel number 666 means you need to start believing in yourself and take initiatives to make right in your life. For a long time you have lived in other people's shadow. It is time you take control of yourself and do that which is right by you you are destined for greatness and no one is in a position of telling you otherwise remember that do not doubt yourself but instead bring your ideas out and make them real no one has ever got hurt trying new things that's that's for damn tr that 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 is just the truth no one has never uh no one got hurt trying new things. Seriously. Like, and especially if this is what you want to do. Whatever it is that you're feeling that you need to come out of and to, you know, explore more of you and what you want to do. Horace, I absolutely, positively encourage that 110%. Um, you are destined for greatness. And no one is in a position of telling you otherwise. I love that. I think this is the first 666. I have three 666 um, messages in the deck. And they're all different. They all have something different to say. But yes. I think this is the first time I pulled this one though. I think this is the first 666 here. But yes you guys. Start believing in yourself. For sure. Crap. I'm sorry that scared me a little bit. I was like, ugh. Okay. But yes, yes, horse collective. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna just do the full 30 with the angel messages. Hmm, yeah, yeah. And I've already done uh I've already pulled some of the chakra and crystal messages that I made. There's the horse again. Do you see that? It just it fell. Okay. Holy Spirit, any more messages for the horse collective and what they need to know? Be 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 who you truly want to be, horse um, collective. That's all I have to say. Um, you can't hurt anyone. No one has gotten hurt by trying new things. All right, my most decorative card in the deck, Angel Number Eight One Eight. Angel Number Eight One Eight suggests that you think only thoughts of abundance and prosperity your thoughts are manifesting very quickly at the moment all right so only think of abundance positive thoughts only think of success because sometimes we think of a situation and if we are carrying fear and just you know fear of the unknown don't fear the unknown because the unknown can be absolutely beautiful oh and there were some messages on the front part 
I'm sorry. Uh, oh, 666, I'm just now seeing it. When in doubt of anything, pray and meditate. Yeah. Yeah, you shall get answers with prayer and meditation. I feel like you guys definitely have some ancestors that are so on standby and they're just like tell us what you need you know i feel like you're getting a lot of nudges or you know that could be something that you're feeling intuitively too you know you could be feeling that and that feeling is correct all right let's get one more message for the horse collective all right so some of you guys may need to start uh taking some b12 i take b12 i don't let me show you this is a b12 i take it is chewable fast dissolving i am not getting paid to advertise this at all but this is a really good this is really good for energy um tastes like strawberries it's chewable yeah this is 5000 mcg this is the mass this is the maximum strength but i think you guys may need some I think you guys may need some more energy. Um, B12 is a special B vitamin that your body needs but cannot produce. Support It supports bone health, prevent age-related eye vision uh, degeneration. It can improve mood and, and symptoms of depression. Hold on. Benefits brain, benefit brain by preventing loss of neurons, boost energy, and it also supports healthy skin and nails. All right, you guys. All right, we are at 32 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here, Horse Collective. Horse Collective. Um, yeah. I hope you guys got some messages that resonates or that was just helpful. Uh, I am grateful to everybody who is subscribed to my channel, Net Knows Divine Healing. And I hope some of these messages definitely help you guys out. Because I am definitely getting a pull towards you guys, the Horse Collective. So, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys are so cared for. You guys are so important, truly. You have you have guidance. You have some guides that are looking to guide you. I'm not sure if you're in communication with them or not, but, you know, when you meditate um, or when you pray, you know, just go ahead and just say everything. Just go ahead and say everything that you're feeling, everything, everything that you desire. Um, like just, you know, like put all of the frustration, put all of your doubts um, in the hands of the divine, and they will definitely give you the answers that you are looking for. But I'm so glad whoever makes to see this uh, reading. And I hope you have you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.